doesn't sound good or not. Okay, that's Carrie Butler's big song, In Case If You Can. I'm oh, no. obsessed with it, the 11 o'clock number. But I'm also obsessed with unprofessionalism. So I thought I'd let Carrie Butler <laughs> tell about her first bout. Now, this does not feature Tyler Maynard. How about her first bout of unprofessionalism, her first Broadway show, Blood Brothers. Carrie Butler, go. Okay, so we were in Blood Brothers, and it was a lot of British people in the cast, and the British people, I, I guess, apparently are big pranksters <laughs> on, on the show. And so there was this one part of the show where um, we would reenact a carnival. Um, so they were, you know, they were throwing things to try and crash stuff. And then there was a roller coaster, and all of us would have to like run around the stage and pretend to be, ah, we're on the roller coaster. Um, and like, would you all know like when it would go up, when it would go down? Yes, yes, it was all staged. Um, and we were on a rake stage, so you could feel, you know, as you were going down. Um, so, <laughs> so people in the cast said, let's just make the first two people go out by themselves. We'll all stay back. And so then they'll just look like crazy people running down the stage. And so sure enough, like, the, the roller coaster started. <laughs> and the first two people were like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> For the audience doesn't know like, what they're doing. It's just two idiots. It's just two crazy people screaming. Oh By God, themselves. And then like you have to wonder what's going on in their head. Like, do we just stop now? <laughs> like, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the audience be like, why are there two people having breakdowns? Okay, speaking of breakdowns, so we all know that Annie is coming back to Broadway oh. and we still know that there's no chance I'll ever play Duffy devastated. However, there was a chance Carrie Butler was going to be in the film. Why don't you tell your hilarious story? And I remember she was a child when this happened. Go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I had auditioned for, well, at first I auditioned for the show, Annie. I was obsessed with that. We all um, were. And then I auditioned for the movie. And uh, then one day I got a call on my answering machine. Did you have a machine. call back for the movie at all? Um, I can't remember. I got a lot of callbacks for the show, but I think, you know, I was put on tape, so I think it was like a final, you okay. know, I don't know how much they went with the movie. But, um, so I got a call on my answering machine. Beep, uh, yes, we're calling to tell you that you have been cast as one of the orphans in the movie Annie. So me and my family are jumping up and down, screaming, and then... Roller coaster style? Ah! Oh, okay, go on. <laughs> uh, and then the next message was, beep, um, yes, we're just calling, uh, we dialed the wrong number. So then... Crying. Literally, we just, couldn't they just give you like a walk-on? Just, I, well, that, I was gonna be, I wasn't gonna be one of the featured orphans. I was probably just gonna be, you know, there were like probably a hundred kids in that movie. I was gonna be one of those. And even you know, that. <laughs> you know, basically like, like an extra, I bet, an extra did you even Did you call back, and did your parents no. call back and be like, you're trying my child? No, my parents don't even remember it. They probably blocked it out. <laughs> Okay, and the final thing we thought we'd talk about now, you know, Carrie's playing essentially as usual, an 18 year old. Carrie is the Dorian Gray of Broadway. She just plays 18. <laughs> no matter what the show is, she's like, I just moves up to 19 and catch if you can. But Carrie and I knew each other as children, so we're, we, we're at least alive at the same time, but for some reason, Carrie plays 40 years younger than I do. I don't want to talk about it, I'm so devastated. Put Vaseline on the lens. So Carrie and I were both in this children's nightclub together that was on the east side called um, Young Stars. Young Stars. Well, it began as Beginnings, then it changed to Young Stars. I wasn't saying. in Beginnings. I wasn't only in Young Stars. Any to the who. <laughs> um, many, many child actors were in it. The Kitchen of Vita, Kitchen Peter Pan. Um, Kitchen Annie. Kitchen Annie. Oh my God. Sarah Jessica Parker, yes. who had sounded so good. Oh my God. Such a great voice. Sarah Jessica and I used to smoke cigarettes downstairs. We were like the radical 14 year olds. Anywho, <laughs> the point is we thought we'd, we'd, we'd recreate, because we still both remember the opening number. So we're going to give you just a smattering of it. This is what we used to sing every single week. It was a dessert nightclub where we performed it. So we, we got, got paid in ice cream. We got paid in ice cream. Oh my God. And those amazing strawberries. Remember those amazing strawberries? Mm. But we were all like, before the shows, I was like, my voice. We all used to suck on lemons. Like, mm, my voice. Did you used to do that in <laughs> no, the kitchen? Oh my God. I was like, my voice. I need lemon. <laughs> all right. So uh, we want to do, I want to be an Annie. Do you remember that part? Yes, I remember. So all the kids would sing this. I want to be an Annie. Don't tell us. I want to be an Annie. We know. I can act, sing, and I dance too. Take me fast, cause I'm, I'm gonna, gonna grow. grow. Happy birthday, dear. Ba -ba -dum -bum. Then what, then you're what, gonna uh, grow. You're gonna grow. Oh no, oh no. Soon there'll be room for a few more of us. Let's get ready, let's go. I'll sure miss the show. I'll sure miss the dough. Oh. Yeah, I'll sure miss the dough. Uh, you'll, you'll be, be a husband at 14 years old and there's no way to slow. The one thing we know, you're gonna grow. Then I went into this whole commercial segment and I was obsessed with the choreography because I actually got to learn the choreography from actual children's commercials. So I went into a... 
We started walking around, remember? Bonjour jeans, bonjour jeans. At Abraham and Strauss, at Abraham and Strauss. Honey comes big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, underoos are fun to wear. Yeah, something super new in underwear. Then we all go. We, we love, love you, Sergio. Sergio. Okay, we're, we're out. We're too old to be doing that. It's embarrassing. <laughs>